Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Vasila Built for Speed and today we're working on our beast This baby right here. So today I'm gonna be pulling the engine. I wasn't gonna make this video to be honest um, I already made like a intake manifold video turbo install video There's a bunch of details in it, but As soon as I started pulling the intake, I'm like mm, why not just make like part one part two by you know three four blah blah, blah all that so i'm gonna just get straight to it uh i'm gonna pull the intake i'm gonna pull the battery the box that holds the battery the battery mount i am gonna pull the piping pull the intake manifold and pull the cowl that's gonna be for part one that's gonna be part one of the video uh again intake piping intake manifold the battery and all the plastics that hold the battery this strut brace we're gonna remove and we're gonna remove all this remove the wipers and the cowl and uh yeah and then the oil trap obviously after we remove all this so this is gonna be from part one and then part two after that i guess we'll see i'm gonna i've done so much on this car that kind of right now it's kind of hard to go on in order to explain to you guys what i'm gonna do after so let's start with the intake intake piping number one number two we're gonna move on to the battery or maybe actually a strap brace we'll see anyways follow along pay attention to this video and that's yeah i'm gonna kind of tell you what i'm doing i removed the filter already uh i'm gonna i have the aftermarket snap filter so i'm gonna remove the shield i'm gonna remove all the brackets remove the piping and after that we'll see we'll either do the battery or the strap brace and all that okay let's give a quick update i did the intake i just pretty much unbolted the clamps here uh the intake piping obviously loosened this bolt here and then took the intake piping off and then started taking the covers off the battery took the seal off and then took the front cover off took the battery out put it here and then to show you guys i don't know if you guys can see here good but intake pipe everything together and then i also took the heat shield i put all the bolts in the holes and then um uh, yeah so everything i keep on the actual you know like you can see a bolt right here over there two bolts with the nuts i kind of keep everything organized i'm going to try to put as much dry stuff in here as possible i may do like intake manifold in here the turbo on the other hand once i get the turbo out get the downpipe off um i'll be sending it out back to turbo bay and he's gonna go through it make sure everything is fine with the turbo while i'm doing the engine or having the engine built okay update got the battery seat off it's like one two three and four millimeters i mean four bolts hi kitty cat and uh got that out got the battery off and then got the wipers off i uh, taped everything the bolt and then the cover for the wipers to the wipers put them in the trunk and now i'm gonna take these clips off here there's this one's gone that one and then the two on the other side and take this top piece off after that i'm gonna put pull the fake firewall off i think there's a couple of eight millimeter nuts behind there if i'm not mistaken for the firewall but that will be more visible once i get the top cover off this plastic cover once i get it off um yeah so today's goal in the part one video intake battery the wipers all the fake firewall and the plastic cover and the wind windshield wipers um probably gonna try to pull the torque mount the IPD torque mount off um, the intake manifold and maybe at the most maybe get the rest of the pipe off and then the oil trap that's gonna be it for part one um, yeah I, I don't have the resources uh, to show you guys kind of just as I'm doing it because I mean I'm just kind of showing you the steps I think if any of you guys if you haven't never worked on the car I, mm, I don't know if I would take on this job uh anyway so i'm just gonna tell you guys the steps i go i go i'm going by so if you guys uh worked on the cars before you guys kind of would understand what i'm saying kind of just the intake intake piping battery and then take the plastics off and then we'll move on probably to the intake manifold intake piping and then the oil trap and then yeah torque mount and then get that out of the way and that's i'm probably gonna call that a day for today i don't want to overload myself uh and plus i got you know a week until the machine shop is ready to take my engine in uh so i'm gonna go slow uh, and then next 
part two is going to be a downpipe, turbo, um, and then the rest of the stuff, pretty much. Yeah. So for now, we're just going to focus on the first things. Voila. So we got the clips off and the plastic just came right off. Um, these ones, once you get these clips off, lift it up and then just kind of, you'll see these underneath. You just kind of compress them to make sure you don't break these. These are one piece with this the whole thing. So you really don't want to damage it. That's the only thing I could say, be careful about. And then this guy, you'll see where the bolts are. There's one here, one here, uh, one here. And then first we're going to have to take this black thing off. And that consists of just taking this plastic, uh, plastic little I don't know nuts or whatever you want to call them off once we get that off firewall off uh, yeah we're gonna be done and then after that I'm gonna take this intake pipe off oil trap and this and then that's it oh actually yeah I did say I'm gonna take remove the intake manifold uh, yeah I may actually do that too um, I'm gonna have to remove the fuel uh, fuel rail and then I'm gonna, I may have to lower the engine, so I may have to loosen these three bolts here uh, to do that. All right, so we got the firewalls, the fake firewall off. Um, and you can see, I can see the turbo, I can see the downpipe. The O2 sensor, pretty much, I have full access here. I can do the oil trap. So, I don't know if you guys, any of you guys are watching this and you're like, wow, that could have made my life so much easier doing this or that. Yes. It's a little extra work. Um, I would say if I was kind of just going full speed, uh, maybe plus or minus extra half an hour of work, maybe less. Taking the intake, intake pipe off, your battery, your cowl or whatever you want to call that plastic piece, your wipers off, and then your fake firewall. Probably a good half an hour actually with the fake firewall because it's a little tricky. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Um, but now... It makes it very, very easy to take the intake pipe off and the oil trap. Um, yeah, after that, I'm going to take this off and that, and we're done for the day. Okay, let's see here. Where were we at? I don't know if I already mentioned. Took the oil trap off. Uh, I disconnected. I don't know if any of you guys watched the video when I did the injectors. I don't know if I mentioned it, but when I took this bracket off, I grinded it off a little bit here so I could take the injector connectors off without touching this so i was able to remove the connectors and bolted the actual rail uh unhooked the, the pressure sensor from the fuel rail and was able to pull the rail off without touching anything um so once i got that off i got the pipe that goes from the throttle body to the intercooler pipe down there off now i un unplugged the throttle body i'm going to remove now all the bolts from the intake manifold and remove the throttle body with the intake manifold together in one piece it sure is nice to work inside the shop when this is going on look at that that is rough that's like now nah, i ain't gonna put like i don't know if you guys can see this how aggressive this is hail small hail but Woo. anyways Got the intake manifold off. This pretty baby right here with the throttle body. I'm not gonna separate it. So, got that off. We would be careful with it. So, now pretty much done. Just gonna have probably take the torque mount off. That's all I had to plan. All I planned, sorry. I can't get my words together. All I plan to do in part one is just get to this point. So, we got the intake manifold off, intake, intake piping. The fake firewall off, uh, battery box, and then, yeah, just that right there. So if you guys want to take a look where we at right now. The turbo down there is visible. So fairly easy from here. Uh, after I get this and this off, I could possibly remove the head because I mainly need the cylinder head from this engine. Uh, with the engine and everything been in here so depending how i'm going to be running on time uh, i may just pull the cylinder head off so i can take it to the machine shop with the with the block there that we have depending on time like i said we'll see 
I'd prefer I got a stainless steel table on wheels. I prefer it to drop pretty much the whole subframe with the transmission and engine on it and then roll it aside and take it off there. But like I said, depends on time. If I don't have enough time, I may pull the cylinder head off in the actual car, take it there and then while he's doing you know all that stuff building the engine and machining and all that stuff good stuff i can actually work on getting the transmission and engine out and separating them and prepping the whole car for reassembly okay let's give a quick update here uh where's the flashlight oh right here with some light so you guys can see so right here this is where we at got the battery box off intake intake piping intake manifold i got the torque mount removed the oil trap the fake firewall so next time uh in part two it's gonna be alternator removal ac removal um turbo down pipe and that's it and then the cylinder head this for here and then the torque with the mount right there too i'm gonna have to support something from the bottom probably once i remove that but yeah other than that that's gonna be the next steps alternator ac compressor exhaust manifold with the turbo down pipe that's gonna be part two um, but yeah this is how it looks like right now we got a lot of room to work with so once you get the <laughs> fake firewall off and then the intake manifold it's literally everything is just right there all right so this is the stainless steel table i got it should handle it you got some heavy duty wheels on itself so i'm going to try to drop my engine on this and be able to roll it so yeah uh thank you guys for watching this video if you guys have any questions comment comments below i'll do my best to answer them um but that's gonna be it for today for part one um stay tuned subscribe like this video to the channel stay up to date when i post i'm gonna start posting more often now because i'm starting to do things again so got, got things rolling so thank you guys for watching see you next time